going to cut the box open now and this is a Cartier box and if you have seen the Van Cleef unboxing you would know that this box looks significantly smaller than this one but I love how easy these boxes open because of the way they designed it you don't have to cut open a lot of things here we go inside here oh love that they give you a bag as well even though you didn't shop directly from boutique this is from e-boutique with some of the paper flakes okay this is not very nice but okay i get it and these are from the paper and there is an envelope in here probably just tells me okay so this is the certificate now you know it's a piece from the love collection and then this is probably the receipt and everything oh this is a blank card and then the rest will be the paperwork and the return label just in case and let's find the egg oh it's very very cute because i requested to be packaged but look at this there's a lot of details on here is this trying to imitate snowflakes i'm not too sure but this is a wrapped box and let's take a look to see what's inside Welcome back to another video on my first luxury. I have another mystery that's unsolved that I left in the red box here. So let's go ahead and go to the unboxing really fast to show you guys what is really in here. All right, so this is the inner box. And first, can we just talk about how pretty the packaging is? If you have purchased anything from Cartier, they seem to always wrap things in this manner. And it's really tight. They have some pleats here on the side and it's just very simple but it's a very very cute and very chic and elegant look overall and the paper is also robust if you're someone who loves details now let's get to the content so this bow is not one of those where you can just pull and get everything out so you have to Untie it. I don't know what's here. Maybe something from the paper box and Now the bowl is out of the way. It's still sealed. See it's still like taped together. So you would still have to open it up They usually have a Wax seal when you buy things from the store, but this is I ordered it from online because it's safer to shop online right now so this does not come with a wax seal, but it's okay. When I see this, it reminds me of how I wrap things. <laughs> and voila. So. Imagine when I open this and there's nothing in here. Just kidding, there is something. Okay, let me do a proper introduction. So, voila, this is what I got to review for you guys. It starts with a look, all that it took. have seen and you're like why did you get another love bracelet and why did you get this one honestly I really want to fulfill some of your requests because quite a few of you have actually left in the comments from my previous Cartier videos that you wanted to see a review and perhaps a comparison on the love cuff and actually believe it or not my very first time seeing the love bracelet on somebody this person was wearing like four different cuffs on her hand and I was like damn this woman is full-on Cartier out but honestly at that 
that time I was not familiar with the brand and I had just started working so I was really admiring her extensive jewelry collection so the very first love bracelet that I saw was really the love cuff I learned that the love collection is quite extensive and there's like more than love cuff and obviously if you have watched other videos on my channel before you probably have seen I review quite a variety of different Cartier pieces on the channel and so today I am presenting to you the very first time the love cuff that has finally arrived and we're going to take a dive review this beautiful piece and because there is a price difference between the love cuff and the regular love bracelet yet the look is very similar however there is 2,000 US dollar price differences between the two pieces so some people are thinking should I get the love cuff because it has the exact same look as a love bracelet besides you know the opening on the back which most of the time people won't see or should I just stick to the regular small size love bracelet because it's about the same price point but it's like you know a bangle that is gonna stay on your wrist we're gonna look into those issues today and hopefully help you make a firm decision on whether or not you should purchase a love cuff or you know some other pieces from Cartier and I definitely have a lot to say about this because prior to filming I was looking into the various ways to play with this piece and I did run into a little problem so let's get into the detail part of this beautiful love cuff right now by logic I'm supposed to slide it onto my wrist but unfortunately this size 17 does not go near it cannot go into my wrist. I'm trying on both left and right hand because my left hand is the skinnier one because my dominant is right hand, but there's no way it goes in. So the dilemma is even though a size 17 love bracelet fits me, unfortunately a size 17 love cuff just does not fit me even though they're from the same collection so that is a bummer and I now know that I need to order different sizes next time unfortunately I cannot try this on for you guys but we're gonna get into the detail comparison now it starts with a look wish it could fit as beautifully as it looks and let's start by talking about the width of these bracelets for some reason the love cuff appeared bigger than the love bracelet this is a better shot of me trying to show you guys the difference in the width of both of these bracelets so the love cuff is 0.1 millimeter wider than the love bracelet can you tell Look at how beautiful they are. This one is brand new and has a mirror finish where you can literally see nothing but perfection. And now rolls over to my very love, uh, to my personal piece. You can see that it's been dinged up, it's been worn. You can see the little dent right up on top here. But it all shows the characteristics of the piece which I personally prefer the look because I feel more pressured when I wear a piece like this as I want to prevent scratches you just have to learn to ignore sometimes this is just my aged my loved love bangle some of you already know that I own the love bracelet for a couple of years now and it's in rose gold and in this shot, you can probably see the color difference between a brand new rose gold piece and an aged and oxidized rose gold piece. And you know, you can also see the curvature differences between the two bracelets. That's why the cuff didn't really fit on my wrist because it's just so much smaller. If you're like me, you can really appreciate the brand new details on the brand new piece. And you can see the beautiful polished corner and on the contrast, this is my worn love bracelet of five plus years and this piece has just gone through a lot with me and I absolutely love the look now. Here are both pieces from the side view. They are just so cute to look at and you can see now the love cuff has been bent in a lot more than the love bracelet. That's why the same size 17 on the love cuff didn't really fit on my wrist. It takes more time to make pieces like this because this one opens up into two pieces and then the two sides has to line up perfectly 
and also the work that goes into making the screws are very intricate if you open it i mean i dissected this piece from inside out on the other video if you have seen it the screws are very tiny and it takes a lot longer to make things like this versus this is just a singular piece there's no mechanism on there it's one piece of gold that's bent into a particular shape so the difference between the two is really in the material and also how intricate the mechanisms are for some of you who are detail freaks like me who like to decode things now i'm showing you a very detailed comparison between my original love bracelet the bottom one and then the top right here is the love cuff and you can clearly see that I mean, both are authentic pieces, but they're made in different times. And I just wanted to point out the front differences isn't really an indicator of a piece that's authentic because maybe when they're made in different factories, things are engraved a little bit differently. If you can look closely, the top Cartier label is bigger, slightly bigger than the bottom one. And also the 17, which is the size of the bracelet, are two different fonts, I would say. On the AU 750, you can see the top and bottom 7 is also a different font. And the very last hallmark is probably hallmark for two different manufacturers so they are different and then they are always going to be slightly different from one another the top one appears a little bit more rose gold than a bottom one the bottom one has oxidized for many years now so it appears more yellow goldish but you can refurbish it and bring it back to cartier to have them bring the color back because it happened to me on the just on clue but i don't mind the wear look of it i prefer the more rustic look so there you go, the real differences between the two. Guess who is back? The infamous foot scale to measure our jewelry pieces. I mean, if you have watched our other videos before, you know her. We're going to weigh both of them right now. And obviously one is a full circle bracelet. The other one is like a half circle. So the weight will be different. Let's take a look at how much each one of them weighs. And first I am going to place my love bracelet in full circle on the scale and it came out to about 32 grams and let me remove that and now introducing to you the most glamorous love cuff and it comes out to 23 grams so the numbers have flipped but obviously the weight of the peas reflects in prices as well this one is 23 grams and the original love bracelet weighs 32 grams and because they're also designed differently so when you're manufacturing this piece right here it takes more time and more material to produce something like this and also they have to make sure all the edges are polished smoothly all the details are fine-tuned versus this one right here which is just a piece of metal that's bent into a particular shape so it fits perfectly on your wrist so it's obvious the price reflects the material and the craftsmanship so there's that difference and perspective as well so after looking at it from different angles and the different ways of wearing it and also analyzing this particular piece did you reach your solution? At this point, I really wanted to say these two are two different products and they have two very different price points. So obviously, you know, the choice lays within you. Some people might prefer one over the other and maybe some of us are saving up and we can only get the cuff right now and maybe we're thinking about let's go at it already. It is really a personal choice. But this is the thing, from the practicality point of view, I do think the love cuff is more suitable for some of you with a lifestyle where you are a lot more active, where you need to kind of get things on and off of your wrist, like if you are dancing, if you're practicing like some kind of martial arts, you know, it's probably not a good idea for you to wear a solid piece of gold when your you know, body parts is moving constantly. So if you have more of that kind of lifestyle, I do think the love cuff is an easier choice for you to remove on and off of your wrist and I do think this piece will probably look better if you have a fuller wrist obviously get the right size for you because I assume the wrong thing by getting the exact same size love cuff as the love bracelet and now you see that it doesn't really fit so my best suggestion is if you cannot go to a boutique talk to their customer service people online because they are very helpful and I kind of 
of did that before purchasing the Joseon Clou bracelet that I have. And if you guys wanted to see a review, I'm going to pop it up here or here. And also with the love cuff, you know, the look is pretty much exactly the same from the front side. You know, if you're comparing the two look of it. The, the difference is very slight. It's 0.1 millimeter different. It's very, very tiny difference. But if you were to turn it around, then one truly stays on your wrist versus the other one where you have the practicality to remove it on and off of your wrist much easier. You're probably gonna ask me this. Am I going to choose the love bracelet or the love cuff? Let me think about it. I think with my lifestyle, because I don't really like to remove my jewelry and I have been wearing the love bracelet for several years in a row and I barely take them off and luckily they stay intact on my wrist just sometimes if I were to take it off for cleaning and then the screw sometimes loosens a little bit but it doesn't go to a point where it's gonna unscrew itself completely and fall off of my wrist so I do think I am still very much in love with my love bracelet and I do think the love cuff you know it is a good alternative like I said if you are trying to save up for a love bracelet and you feel like okay maybe this would suit my lifestyle better definitely go for the love cuff because on the back side of it it's just a cuff so it's missing the very you know middle part where it's actually on your wrist so you are less likely to rub that part that's missing against a lot of things and for some of you who love your jewelry to stay shiny and polished maybe that's a good thing for you knowing what I know now I should have done more research before just you know, went ahead and purchased the same size because my assumption was they're from the same collection, so there shouldn't be that huge of a difference like the Love and the Just on Clue. They have one size differences between the two. And if you wanted to see that video, I'll make sure I link it in the video or definitely check the description box below. Um, but as far as the two Love bracelet, now I know I probably need to go one or two size bigger because I just struggle to put it on my wrist. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Which one would you go for and have you tried on the love cuff and love bracelet when you were making a decision and you don't own any of these pieces yet which one would you prefer to choose next so would love to hear from you and if you have not joined my first luxury yet the subscribe button is right there click on it I would love to see you in our next video thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you on the next one bye guys